Welcome everyone. I'm Kimberly Boschman and this is the Intentionally Intuitive Podcast. In this episode, we're going to take a look at the numerology and the energy for July 2022 for the collective as well as each individual life path number. So before we get into the reading, I wanted to let you know that I am now offering the coaching with numerology as a 60 minute phone session for us customers only at this time, MP3 recorded sessions are still an option and still available for those outside of the U S or for anyone who prefers that option. Also, I am now offering personal month ahead numerology forecasts that include the PDF copy of the month in question, including each day of that month and my recorded guidance for the month per the numerology. So if that is of interest to you, head on over to my website to book some time with me. The link is in the description box below. Okay, and as always, this forecast for July is a general reading. So again, please book some time with me for a personal in-depth look at your own numerology. Okay, so July is a 13 for energy. This for me is really similar to sort of like Plutonian energy in a lot of ways. Death, metaphorical, of course, um, transformation, rebirth energy. This is an energy that creates the compelling feeling for change and not only change, but creation, creating something beautiful from something desolate or difficult. This is an energy of say the lotus flower, something that takes time, perseverance and desire to thrive and finally blooming from the murky, muddy depths. This is using ingenuity and life force creatively to build a solid foundation of truth, honesty, and integrity from a space of passion and desire. So this isn't the easiest of energies to work with only because It will require time, patience, and potential setbacks. However, the end result is the potential of some of the most beautiful, flourishing, lovely lotus flowers you've ever seen. So you could also think of the metaphor of the pearl. So the pearl is created inside of the mollusk or the the shell, right? Is it the crab that does that? Anyway, I should know this, right? Um, But it turns the sediment and the sand into something solid and unique and beautiful that brings joy and beauty to the lives of others. That is 13-4 energy. That is the potentiality of 13-4 energy. So as a cycle, we have this energy for July taking place within a six universal year. So areas of emphasis now for where this could show up could be around home and family life, love, such as how we love, how we show up to love, um, how we love ourselves and or how we are open, how open we are to receiving love, right? So a lot could be coming around a Uh, come in around love at this time. So this could bring change and transformation and rebirth to relationships. And also through our individual contributions to our greater community. Now, 13.4 is also very um, Venusian and divine feminine energy. So we may see things surface in a very transformative way around the actual earth, around nature, uh, receptivity and stillness, more nurturing energy surfacing or emphasis on global relationships in general. That could all come into focus now. So this is an invitation to sink into the softer side of life while also standing within your own truth and feminine strength, regardless of gender. This is a strong energy of creation stemming from the space of love, equality, and equity for all. If there is something you have wanted to create that could become a legacy for you or others, this is a very supportive energy for this. So follow your heart and your intuition. That's very 13, four energy even when it becomes challenging. And this energy will eventually reward you for your perseverance and your efforts. 
If you need a reminder of the possibilities, read more about the lotus flower and let that be your mantra this month. It is very rare that anything happens quickly under four energy, but typically things created or initiated under this energy have the very strong possibility of not only standing the test of time, but also bringing much success. So what that success looks like will be different for each person because each person's idea of success varies. So this month ushers in the supportive energy for building and creating something incredibly beautiful from something seemingly ugly or from nothing. So as always, it's what we do with the energy that makes all of the difference. So you are the magician of your own life. What will you do with your magic? Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at each individual life path number now. Life path 11-2. So I pulled an animal spirit message for you all and you got prairie dog and prairie dogs are one of my favorite favorite, favorite little creatures. Uh, we have a lot on, on the front range of Colorado and well, throughout Colorado, but anyway, um, I love, I go for pretty much daily hikes and or daily walks. And, um, they're just, there's just a lot of them <laughs> on the front range. And so, um, I always see them and it's just such, it brings me so much joy. They're little squeaks and they're, they're just running around and they're just, they're so cute. They're just the cutest little things. And, um, I know sometimes talking about prairie dogs can be polarizing. You wouldn't think it would be, but it can be because people either love them or they hate them, but they're just beautiful, beautiful little creatures and they're little chirps and they're little fuzzy bums. They're just so cute. Anyway, I could go on and on and on talking about prairie dogs. Um, But what's interesting is I love that this energy came through for you all because it brings about this, this energy of cheerfulness, of graciousness, of, um, community, like coming together. You know, there's basically when you see prairie dogs during the day, majority of them are out gathering food. Like there's the watchdogs and then there's the ones that are out there, like really kind of gathering the food and taking it back to their burrows, um, for the family, right. For the community, it really is a community network. And so what's interesting is you all have this sort of undercurrent energy this month that you're working with of the nine. And so the nine energy is this humanitarian energy, which really is asking you to move into the community in some way, um, share your work, share your, your gifts, um, share your resources, whatever the case may be, but there's definitely this energy of like humanitarian energy and community energy coming in very, very strongly. So I love that Prairie Dog came through and it's also an invitation to, you know, play and to find and do what makes you happy. Right. So, and, and find ways you know, find things that inspire you and then move from that, that vibration and take inspired action, right? Which is so much the 11 energy. So (laughs) I would say if, if you're not familiar with what a prairie dog is or sort of their mannerisms and like their, um, their little squeaks and in sort of the way that they, they move through the world. Um, I would, I would invite you just to kind of do some research online and just watch a video of them. I mean, I just think they're the most adorable little things ever, but anyway, definitely a lot coming in about graciousness, like sharing, um, collaborating community, whatever, however that comes in for you all, but beautiful, beautiful energy with Prairie Dog. And like I said, it just coincides so lovely with this nine energy that you all are working with. You're also going to feel, of course, just like the rest of us, um, the influences of the 13, four, because that is the universal collective energy. But again, 11s are sort of moving through sort of some influences of nine energy as well. So again, this is going to be a time for sharing your resources, sharing your gifts, your creativity in a way that has the potential to contribute towards a greater purpose. Now, uh, you may just begin this now, right? Like this doesn't necessarily mean you're going to instigate it or or start it. And it's going to, you're going to see the fruition at this point, at this point, it may just be like getting started, taking the steps. Um, but it's really this kind of like having the goal to contribute towards a greater purpose. So, this is going to be a time again, where you're, you're going to still focus on self, 
but you have to find ways to also focus on others. And you may see some, some level of transformation in regards to how you sort of balance and merge those two energies. So how do you show up for others while also stand, showing up for yourself, right? Like how do you marry the two energies so that you're not depleting yourself, which 11 twos can do, um, or, or, or fall on the opposite side of that, you know, where you're just so independently focused, um, that you're not taking others into consideration and stepping into your two energy. So there's just a lot here this month where it's like this very selfless energy coupled with making sure that you continue to continue with self-care and to take your needs into consideration and just finding your healthy balance between those two energies. Um, be aware of any kind of unnecessary power struggles now any judgments, any critiques of self or others. Now, um, this is going to be a time where you really have to find a way to sort of lighten the load, right? So if there's, if there are grudges or judgments that you're carrying with you on this journey, or if you're, if you're overly critical of yourself or others at this time or any time, <laughs> This month is going to help you to get a grasp of that, to figure out a way to release that, to forgive that, to move beyond that, right? To, to sort of level up in a way. It may not be easy and it might not be immediate, but I think that there may come into your awareness ways to do that, ways to sort of mitigate that energy. Uh, so just pay attention to where it is that you hold your strongest judgments, whether it's against yourself or against someone else. And how can you move through that? How can you alleviate that? How can you transmute that energy? Same things with same thing with any, like if you're overly critical towards yourself or towards others, this is going to be a time to, um, give yourself and give others grace, uh, where it's needed, right. To lighten the load, to lighten that, you know, so you're not carrying too much baggage that doesn't need to be there. And again, also be aware of any unnecessary power struggles, whether those are power struggles that you're creating or whether they're being imposed on you. Uh, ultimately we always have, we always make the final decision. We have authority in how we choose to participate. So if there is a power struggle, find out how it is that you're participating and how can you alleviate that? Or how can you change the energy there? How can you participate in a different way that will, uh, at least change the energy for you and how you show up and how it affects your experience, right? Or how you allow how much control or how much power you allow that other person or that, that experience to have over you and, and how it affects you. I think those are all going to be keys that kind of come up, but I also think that, again, this is going to be a really big month for collaboration, for working with others, for taking com community into consideration. And again, I go back to prairie dog energy, uh, being gracious where you can be gracious, being, um, finding joy and cheer where you can find joy and cheer and spreading that right. And, and, you know, finding the more positives in a negative situation, potentially to change the energy of the situation. So really beautiful energy coming in for you all 11s with this sort of, again, this undercurrent of the nine. And then with Prairie Dog, this has the potential to be a really uplifting month for you all, a really an, an opportunity for you to make progress. Uh, again, where it comes to how you contribute towards the lives of others and how you help to uplift others and, uh, empower others. This is a great month for that. While also, like I said, just continuing to check in with yourself and make sure that you're not depleting your own energy in order to do that. So beautiful energy for you all this month. Definitely take advantage of it. As always, it's what we do with the energy, but just really incredibly incredible, uh, energy for you all this month. Very beautiful. So I hope this was helpful. Thank you all so much for listening. I hope it's a beautiful July. Take care, everyone. Bye for now.